So what we have, this is the Dawn Planter Automation Stand, uh, which is showcasing our latest technology that we're debuting here at Farm Progress 2013. So there's a couple different elements actually going on in this system. I'm gonna highlight those elements first, then talk about how they work together as a system. The first element is the Dawn CFX fertilizer opener, which is brand new, hydraulically controlled, a host of unique features in and of itself in terms of the double disc opener arrangement that we highlighted before. It has, it's neither a single disc nor a double disc. You've got the larger primary disc that runs at a five degree angle just like a standard single disc opener would be. But then following in its shadow, you've got the smaller secondary disc, which holds the furrow open and keeps residue from getting in the furrow. And what it does is it prevents us from having to run a conventional shoe. Um, like a problematic component on most single disc openers is the shoe. Anytime you have a rotating component next to a stationary component is an opportunity for plugging. And here the fertilizer is actually suspended in between the discs so that if material gets inside of it, it can completely free itself up. So back to the automation. We've got the GFX row cleaner, which is, you know, the first remotely controllable planter attachment on the market. Um, it sets new standards in performance in row cleaners because it's frame mounted, it's hydraulically controlled, it has spring upward lift and hydraulic down pressure. So the energy and the vibration going into the row cleaner is dissipated into the frame and not passed on to the planter meter, which manifests itself as irregular spacing um, and poor meter performance. Then we have the RFX down pressure actuator right here, which is a compact hydraulic actuator that fits the majority of common planters, which gives very high speed automatic down pressure adjustment to the planter. Notice, the RFX down pressure actuator is actually used in two places. So it's a, it's a piece of the model CFX too, so it minimizes the number of spare units and simplifies the total system. So here's what's going on here. We've got the Dawn MyFX controller, which displays real-time information about the performance of the different systems. And we've got a hydraulic control manifold stack back there too. Notice how all of the Dawn hydraulic actuators are using 1 8 inch thermoplastic hydraulic hoses. Smaller than the airlines that most people run. But what does that tell us? What that says is Every single Dawn actuator has a nitrogen pressure vessel in it. That's one of the core fundamentals in the Dawn technology because what we're doing is we're storing energy in the actuator. When the units float up and down or they hit a rock, you need to rapidly get oil out of the system and back into the system. Rather than passing that oil over relief to the tractor and then asking for it back to the tractor, we're storing that energy very close in the system. And what that means is efficiency. It means we have we use less energy in terms of hydraulic flow rates going to the system, and in terms of automatic row-by-row -row control, it manifests itself as lower electrical power consumption too. So let's start with the Model CFX, which is not only a really cool fertilizer opener in terms of its mechanical design, but it also is the first device in the world which is an active depth control device. As in, it, regardless of how hard the soil is, this device is maintaining constant depth in the soil in real time. How does it do that? Right here, you'll notice, behind this clear polycarbonate cover, and the polycarbonate cover is a production feature of the unit, so you can actually see your sensor and the LED output on the sensor. You have a cam, which is connected to the gauge wheel shaft. And the cam has an inductive sensor next to it. So we, we, it's all non-contact, okay? There's, there's no opportunities for mechanical wear in the system. The whole, all of the pivots in the unit run on needle roller bearings. And so as the, as the gauge wheel moves up and down, it measures how deep it is, translates that depth into a voltage output, which is sent to the MyFX controller, which is integrated into the actual structure of the unit itself. The MyFX controller says, hey, you're running too shallow, or hey, you're running too deep, and it alters your hydraulic pressure in order to compensate for that. So check this out right here. Watch the gauge on the, on the CFX gauge right there when I do this. These weights are representing the 
actual physical downforce that the different elements are putting on the ground. So I'm going to push on the CFX gauge and I'm going to say, hey, you're going into harder ground right now. And you see it increases the pressure to compensate and maintain the same depth, then I let it go and it comes back down. Now watch when I lift up. It's saying, hey, we're going into really soft ground right now. You need to get lighter. And notice that the whole system is compensating. It's reducing the pressure on the whole system. It's like, oh, now we're back in hard ground again. We better figure it out. And it quickly comes right back. A really important feature is that the MyFX controller will take as an input the strain gauge load sensor on the planter row unit, and it uses that as a correction signal. Even more. See how this coulter right here is about four feet in front of where the disc opener is? The system is fast enough acting where when you set up your user-defined variables in the controller, you'll say, hey, I'm going to measure this on my planter, and I'm four feet ahead. It is going to synchronize the control of the down pressure between the planter row unit and the sensor so that this device is predicting the change in soil hardness before the planter gets there. If you're using only the strain gauge on the row unit alone, you're always a step behind. Is it a huge deal? I mean, guys have grown great corn with springs and with other very basic equipment for years. What we're doing is we're showing, hey, this is the ultimate of what is possible. As you push towards 300 bushels and as the goal for high yielding corn keeps going up and up and up, this system says, hey, this is the maximum of what is possible. We're going to sell a couple different systems. We're going to sell a basic system, which is a non-predictive system where you simply get the MyFX controller, you get a basic row unit down pressure system, and it will the MyFX controller will take a signal from your John Deere load pin and will convert it into an active down pressure system. Then you can step up in the future to the predictive down pressure system. The RFX Plus is basically converts a standard basic actuator into an individual row control actuator. So if you if you take like this uh, 1770 behind you, from the factory this would have three John Deere load pins or something on it. You know, you would have so you could, the stock unit would, would take, you would, you would have three RFX plus manifolds, okay, with a stock system if you didn't want to add any sensors, and you would turn it into a three section system. If you, you know, the user at their will could continue to add more and more channels of control up to row by row control. So it, it just, it gives you the, it gives you the flexibility of choosing how much, you know, control you want. And it allows people to step in with a very, very basic low cost system and then increase their uh, uh, level of control from there. Again, you've got uh, the very, very, very small eighth inch thermoplastic hoses, very low flow rates, um, very low uh, coil consumption. The Dawn RFX Plus manifold will require 20% the electrical power input that some of the competitive products will. Why is that important? Modern tractors on modern planters don't have a lot of excess power to give away. You know, they, they, they don't have a lot of excess hydraulic capacity. And, and when you can take the RFX Plus manifold and take a 36 row planter and not have to add an additional electrical power generating system onto it, that's, it just makes life so much easier. Because the way that they're getting the electricity is from hydraulic power. So they're taking mechanical power and making hydraulic power and then making electric power. And, the Dawn system is just designed to be simple and effective and basic and to work, you know. And it's all made in the United States.